will not negotiate on the fundamental right of life beginning at conception. Fighting for the unborn. I'm not, that's non-negotiable. I'm not negotiating on the definition of a marriage. It's one man and one woman. As a matter of fact, I despise the term traditional marriage because it presumes that there's another type of marriage that isn't traditional. Well, there's not. Look, marriage is one man and one woman. Now, that doesn't mean you can't have other kinds of relationships, but they're not married. Okay, now you just boxed yourself into the corner that has destroyed some other conservative Republicans who should be in the U.S. Senate now. If you will not, if you will not budge on principle, right. on life, does that mean that a pro-life amendment to the Constitution that protects life with the exceptions of rape and incest, which may be necessary to get it passed, does that advance your per principle, or does that violate your principle? You have to, in that situation, you have to weigh on balance how many lives, I do, how many lives are my, unborn lives am I going to save? Okay? And I don't, it doesn't change my principle, and it doesn't negotiate away, but just because we amend the Constitution with an exception doesn't mean we can't subsequently come back at a later date and amend the Constitution again. But on balance, what do we have to do? Do we take the lives that we can save and move the ball forward, or do we stand up without apology and negotiation on that principle? It's a difficult choice, but... Uh, but, but if push comes to shove, and that was the only amendment there was to vote on, you'd vote for that amendment for the lives it saves. I don't know how I could vote to save some lives. <laughs> And that's what that amendment would do. As much as, as distasteful as that amendment was to me, because it didn't go far enough, I would, I, I, you've got to save some lives, right?